This bike right here is my pride and joy. This is my Cannondale Bad Boy 1. I've had this bike for like two years now. I love this thing. It's literally like my favorite thing in the world. I just love getting on my bike and being able to pedal it. To be honest with you, it's like my only time that I feel pretty normal for the most part. Like my body like kind of flows when I'm pedaling instead of feeling like all tight. Like it usually does. As long as the weather's good and my body's feeling up to it, like I'm guaranteed to be out there on my bike. But let me just quickly go over this bike real quick for those of you that haven't seen the video on it. Like this bike is so cool because because like it's just different it's just so much different than any other bike out there like when I saw this for the first time I thought it was like some kind of one-off custom thing couldn't believe that they actually made it so I use this thing for just pedaling around just going on you know bike rides I do about like 10 or so miles at a time as you can see in the front it's got the lefty fork on here it's a rigid there's no suspension on this bike there's a light that's actually built into it which is really cool the bike has a uh, hydraulic brakes which feel amazing um, and then right here you can see I have a set of uh, shifters on here there's actually an eight-speed internal hub and one of my favorite things about this bike is the fact that it does have the carbon drive on it because having this belt it is so smooth you don't have any kind of clicking of the chain it's just perfect to pedal around the smoothest thing ever I am like such a big fan of the belt drive but I do have a little bit of a complaint in it there's only eight gears in here and when I'm in my highest gear like and I'm going downhill like I feel like there's so much more that I could be doing speed wise so I've been wanting to change it out but I don't know anything about belts I don't know anything about belt drive sprockets so we had to do some research and today we are going to make an adjustment we ended up going on one of our suppliers they didn't have a lot to choose from it looked like they were out of stock on a lot of things but we were able to try to piece together a kit to try to make things better so as you can see over here in the front this is a 46 tooth sprocket that's in the front here now in the back this is a 22 tooth sprocket I tried to lower this by like one tooth and to see if that would make it better but there wasn't any available so we had to do the next best thing we're going with a 50 tooth carbon drive sprocket so it's going to be four teeth bigger so this should definitely make it a little bit better but we had to switch it out we had to go for a different belt and this belt right here it's a it's the same exact brand, but it's a different model of it. Like this would be the nicer belt technically, like this is the CDX one. Um, and this one isn't the CDX, but it will be sufficient. It does work on it. So now if you look right here, boom, 113T. So there you go, 113 teeth. Um, and then since we went up on four in the front, we figured we would try to go up uh, same on this one. And where did we end up going with this one? I can't even remember. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is a hunt, uh, 118 uh, tooth. So uh, it's a little bit of a difference, but there is a little bit of real estate that we can work with back here to adjust it. So we're just gonna try it and see if this works. But the whole goal with today's video is to see how much better this thing will perform. And the way that we're gonna be testing that out is I have my drag keyboards at. It's like a satellite GPS system that works like on the app on the phone. People use it for cars. We're going to be using it for bikes. We've done it before. It works really well. So we're going to figure out my top speed when we are going on three different setups here. So we're going to test this one out. We're going to put this in the lowest gear. Or we're going to go climb a hill because that's the only time you'd be really using that low gear is if you're on a hill. So we're going to tie myself up it and see what the top speed is on it. Then we're also going to do a full sprint on flat for me and see where my uh, normal speed is. And we're going to see which gear it's located in. And then we're also going to put it in the highest gear and we're going to race downhill and see what the top speed is. So this is the flat sprint on the original gearing. Just to let you guys know that this sprint is being done in gear number seven, so the second highest gear. So now we are in the lowest gear and we're gonna climb this hill. We'll see uh, what kind of mile per hour like it keeps me up going. So right now we're currently at six, which is impressive, but it's gonna get real bad by the time we get to this telephone pole right here. So we'll stay on though, because there's really not a lot of action. Maddie can make it up here and sleep. But look how many times I'm pedaling. Like, that's a lot. This is a really small gear, isn't it, Matt? Like, for what it is. I mean, you're, you're going. That's, what is it? Is it too much? Like, too much <sighs> cadence? Usually, I like standing up, so. Yeah, you like up, to pedal hard, like, though, so. I'd be barely going anywhere standing up. So, that's my usual go-to, at least. But right now, we're at five mile per hour. I saw a six flash there. I don't know if I fully believe it, but. I don't know. I'd rather be standing up pedaling now. I could live without this gear, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, we're going for high speed right now. Let's see if we can get this thing going. As you can clearly see in this top speed run, my legs are maxed out. I'm not physically <laughs> capable of making my legs spin any faster than they are. So a higher gear would definitely be helpful in a situation like this. 
So we just got done with our initial testing. Now we're gonna go switch the gear and we're gonna go run all these tests again. And you guys will see the tests back to back to see the real difference. Back inside our beautiful bike shop and here we are about to tackle this one. You've never worked on a belt bike, never have you? Never messed with a belt drive in my life, but I do see that there's a little cutout in the frame. Yes. So you can loosen this bad boy up, just separate the frame real quick, get the belt off. That's pretty cool. I was confused at first. <laughs> I didn't know how we were gonna do it, but I feel a little better now. Yeah, so it shouldn't be terribly hard, no, would it? There's then? just a lot of moving parts, which is the only thing. Like, because we don't know if we have the perfect size belt, we don't know. We, if I know we calculate. don't. Exactly. <laughs> so what I'm saying is there's a lot of moving parts, and you would think it's just a chain tensioner, but it's not. There's actually a lot of stuff, and like the actual brake moves, and there's just a lot going on. Because like if you look at the tension right now, it's, it's pretty solid. It's yeah, it's barely it's not got tight, a little bit. but it's just it's just enough. So we'll so just kind of take that into consideration. Mimic I guess. that. That'll be easy. It's really just getting the back wheel off and get the belt out. All right, well let's give it a go. We'll see what happens. All right, so we got the sprocket coming off. That was easy enough. There's only five volts for it. But yeah, even the tops though feel significantly different mm -hmm. though. This one has like a much, I don't know. It's just, nicer, cleaner look to it, where this one's just a little yeah, more that one's just smooth. generic. But but that's what they said, is they said basically the nicer one is more just weatherproof. It's more, could take on a lot more, but granted that your bike is garage kept mm -hmm. and you do not go out in the rain. That is true. I don't see a big issue. Yeah, I agree. So next step, we are going to try to pull this frame apart. There are two Allen keys right there. Um, we're going to start with that, see what happens when you pull the frame apart. Well, the good news is it's already separated. It wants to, it wants to be separate. That was easy. <laughs> that was a piece of cake. <laughs> so weird, though. It is definitely strange. Just, I don't know. That's really strange. Yeah, I think it's awesome. All right. So now we are putting the fifty tooth sprocket on there, Actually, and then get the other one off first. Which I'm oh, we never take the crank arm off. No. Dang it. No. It's pretty. It'll easy work anyway. off. Anyway, I just. It'll work off. Oh, we yeah. got it. Ooh, 50, just, to get on. 50 just cruised on there. Does it clear the frame? It's yeah. close, but it does. No, we didn't think about that fully. They I'm thought it worked. Scott. <laughs> they, didn't they, they didn't think about us no, changing maybe, gear. Maybe they didn't expect us to put 50 on. There was bigger than this. There what was, did we read, a 70? But it wasn't made by Cannondale. Something like that? It's made by Gates. All right, let's try and put some of these on. So we got the a new belt on, and it's looking really long right now. I, I really don't know if this is going to work. I don't so. think so at this point either. The video might get cut a little short. Yeah, but. this could be a very, very boring video. See, like, my where my finger is, there's, like, at least the width of my finger that the thing can come back. We'll see if that's enough or not. So that's maxed out right now. Yep. And how's our tension? Uh, no tension. It's looking a little sketchy. You want to try the other one? You want to try the smaller belt? Let's just try it. All right. We're already might here. Just, might might as, as well. well right? I'm okay with that because we got nothing else to do at this point. Like I said, guys, there was a limited amount of products available. We just got what was available. Yeah. Literally. There, this is <laughs> the closest thing that we had. We were just, this was just hoping that it was going to work. We went up four teeth in the front here and we went up five teeth on the belt. So. Seems the like math didn't significantly fully bigger for only five teeth. That seems. Yeah, it does seem pretty crazy. That seems ridiculously big. Oh, it's looking small, isn't it? Yeah, it's not looking great. But it's not. We'll give it a go. Anyway. We shall try. There's no way that's happening. It's dangerously right? close, though. Realistically. No, it's not. It barely even gets around the uh, the actual ring. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why? It's not worth it. If we mess up this belt, then I'm never gonna be able to ride at all. You're right. Yeah. Well, okay. There's nothing we can do about it right now. There isn't anything we can do about it. We All right, so we got to order a belt. Well, we work. tried, man. We did what we could. You know what? But the truth is, man, I am, as much as I want to complain about the gearing, it's it's pretty good for what I'm doing on a daily basis. I just wanted to get a little bit more speed downhill. That's all I wanted, man. We will get you that more speed downhill, Scott. Eventually. Mark my word, I'm going to go order exactly what you, you need right now. You don't know. I'm telling you, I'll order it right now. Let's see what happens. So see if you can find this one. I really like this belt. This belt's nice. All right, now we're getting kind of picky, aren't we? Yeah, see if you can find the Carbon Drive CDX one, and then we'll go from so there. So if it's cheaper one, you don't want it. I just really like the look of this one. It looks really cool. My bike is, like, this is my favorite thing in the world, this bike right here. So I just want to keep this thing jiving as best as possible. And Maddie ended up uh, fixing my disc because it was uh, rubbing, which I had no idea about. So I am going to be going extra fast. You're already going faster than you were before yes. you got here. I know that. that you had true. so much resistance on there that you might as well have had nine gears. 
because it was already giving you that extra resistance you were looking for. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. The truth is, I'm just happy to be able to ride my bike. This is the best thing I have going on in my life when it comes to just doing something on my own. I just love the way it feels to pedal, and I really look forward to it every single day. And a beautiful day like this, I'm definitely going to go out riding. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video of us trying to do this. We love bikes in general, and just to be able to learn about the belts is definitely a plus for me. But hopefully we'll be able to get the new parts eventually, and we'll see what my max speed is down White Street. So guys, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.